Gateway Church issues another apology. The Olympic opening ceremony celebrates antichrist perversion and tragedy strikes award-winning gospel group. I'm John Matarazzo for CharismaNews.com, and these are your midweek rundown stories. Starting with this, Gateway Church has issued another apology to Cindy Clemeshier. Uh, in this last week's, this last weekend service, Gateway Church has given an apology to Cindy Clemeshier about the sexual abuse she endured as a child from former Gateway Church pastor Robert Morris. Gateway elder Trey Wilbanks gave the apology to the Clem to Clemeshier before the start of the July 27th message at the church. He says, we felt it was important to address Cindy Clemeshier one more time. Cindy, in case you are watching, we want to again apologize to you on behalf of our entire church for the years of pain that you have endured. We are sorry for our initial communication, which was clearly incorrect. You were a child, not a young lady. Additionally, two weeks ago, Gateway released a statement saying that this was, quote, an inappropriate relationship. This statement was not correct either. To be clear, we believe that this was sexual abuse of a child. Any description falling short of that does not reflect our position. I'm sorry that we got that communication wrong. Right now, uh, Max Lucado and Joaquim Lundquist are set to take on interim pastoral responsibilities for the next six months at Gateway while the church searches for a new senior pastor. Joachim Lundquist has a book coming out soon called Shine Your Light, and I recently released an interview that I did with Max Lucado for his children's book, Just In Case You Ever Feel Alone. You can see that on our YouTube channel. The link to read this article is in the description for this video. Our next article is by Dr. Michael Brown, the Olympic opening ceremony and celebrating perversity. For the last 20 years, when it comes to LGBTQ people and issues, Brown says, I have followed this simple directive from the Lord, reach out and resist, meaning reach out to the people with compassion, resist the agenda with courage, or put another way, and now in the title of a forthcoming book, we should have the hearts of compassion and backbones of steel. And you can read all of his comments in the article here, and that, that link will be in the description below. Let us know what you think about the Olympic opening ceremonies in the comments. And Tragedy Strikes Gospel Music Hall of Fame Quartet. Tragedy struck as three members of the award-winning gospel quartet, the Neelands, were killed in a plane crash. The victims include Jason Clark and his wife, Kelly Nealon Clark, along with their daughter, Amber Kessler, and her husband, Nathan Kessler. Also on board were Melody Hodges, Pilot Larry, uh, Hyeni, and his wife, Melissa. There were no survivors. The group was en route to the Gaither homecoming cruise to Alaska when the crash occurred. The youngest daughter of the Clarks, Autumn Neeland Streetman, released a statement following the news of the crash. As many of you have heard by now, my father and mother, Jason and Kelly Neeland Clark, along with my sister, Amber, and brother-in-law, Nathan, as well as our dear friends, Melody Hodges, Larry, and Melissa Heine, were involved in a tragic plane crash on Friday. She said, thank you for your prayers that have been extended already to me, my husband, Jamie, and our soon to be born baby boy, as well as Jason's parents, Dan and Linda Clark. We appreciate your continued prayers, love and support as we navigate the coming days. Please keep the families in your prayers as they mourn. I'm John Matarazzo for CharismaNews.com. This is your midweek rundown. God bless you.